Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mechanoid. Uh, just wanting to show you my Empires and Allies city here. As you can see, it's pretty enormous, and um, one of the things I wanted to point out is I have actually not paid any money. Uh, you know, if you look here down here at my battle map, you can see I'm pretty far along. I'm fighting this guy over here right now, and uh, every time, you know, I'm getting my Liberty Bonds and stuff like that from doing the trail and I've got down here so far. Um, and you can see I've built up my city. Um, originally I had an airstrip when I first started playing up here, kind of coming across, and as I expanded, I actually moved it and had it like right in here. And um, as I came over this way, I actually decided to go ahead and just move my airport all together and have my airport like right over here, as you can see. I like my airport here, and I'm currently building um, some more fighters. Um, I got a bunch of bombers here, uh, B-52s, and um, some choppers and stuff like that. As you can see, I have a bunch of different troops and units here as well. Um, I have all my barracks all knocked. And I'm getting ready. I'm waiting for um, you know level um, 40 so I can get my spy agency so I can go ahead and get a um, my uh, level 3 hangar. But um, if you come over here and you look at my navy and stuff, I have a nice navy. I'm building some more battleships as we speak over here. They'll be done here in four hours. And um, I'm going to go ahead and place them up here. Um, my... my, my my ore mines here, I ain't upgraded those yet, but I'm going to upgrade them here soon. But I actually have some, um, you know, ore right here, number two, and I'm actually producing. And I have a ton of farms. And some of you might ask, why do you have so many farms, dude? That's crazy. I actually have gotten some comments by a couple of my friends that they love my city. I mean, it's just so big. But um, the reason I have so many farms is I, uh, basically for several reasons. And uh, the main reason is everything in this game is about gold. When you produce troops, everything you do is just basically gold, gold, gold. And um, if you actually come over here on your build tab and you click resources, you can actually see all your energy and stuff. And it's like by 40. And I was just, you know, I just figured this was an all buy tab at first. But as you click the arrows over, you can actually see aluminum, copper, gold, buy. But if you come down here to aluminum, you see aluminum, buy 10 aluminum for 40 gold, you know, as the reward. Click over. The same here with gold, you know, iron and iridium um, so it's like sweet but you know it gets expensive it gets expensive real fast but whenever I sell all my when I um, farm all my farms here I'm getting a good fair amount of gold uh, I mean I'm getting a, a pretty much a lot of gold from I'm getting I think about 70,000 every 24 hours something like that so I mean it's a pretty good number right now my goal is pretty low because I'm building troops and stuff and I just got done buying but if you kinda of come down here and look at my markets I'm probably gonna I'm thinking about building about eight more markets because I originally had these um, these lumber mill level threes right here and then I moved them over here but I'm thinking about deleting these four farms and then building you know eight markets right here so I can actually sell stuff if you look here up at the top I have right now I have 4,000 oil but if you click here in my market I'm currently selling 10,000 oil so I have a good amount of resources the same with the gold I have 13 gold right here but if you kinda of look over here at my gold right now you'll actually see that I'm selling a thousand gold so I'm actually selling my resources and stuff like that to my friends and I have a fair amount just like my wood 3,000 wood um, I originally had that up for sale and I replaced that with my troops. So I mean, I got some troops here. They're not the best, but you can just see, you know, eight boats, you know, thirty-four thousand gold. But um, one of the things I was wanting to offer you guys here on, you know, YouTube is if you guys want to add me on Facebook, I'll put my um, Facebook channel down in the comment of the YouTube video. You guys can add me here on Empires and Allies, and um, you guys can actually come on and attack me if you want. Uh, probably a bad idea. Or, uh, you know, you can add me and if you want to buy certain resources or something like that, I mean, I can produce them for you. Or if you're wanting a certain type of high-level unit, um, I can actually put that up in the market for you and sell it. You know, I mean, imagine, you know, being a noob, but you want, like, a battleship like this here, a high, you know, a, a high-level carrier. You know, you can't get it, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, hmm, that sucks, you know. But it's like, you know, check out my carriers and stuff right here. It's like 20,000, you know, and your little noob carriers are just so low. I mean, imagine, you know, 20,000 HP starting the campaign out, you know, with your carriers and stuff. That's pretty badass. So, uh, you know, if you guys actually want to add me, I mean, I'll put the carriers up in my marketplace and you guys can buy them if you want. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you my city here. Um, got it up and running. I think I'll make another video here in a few weeks. I've been playing this probably for about a month now or more. And I've gotten pretty far. I'm on almost every single day farming and stuff. But I'm really wanting to try to like finish this entire island here and this one down here. And just really control the entire map. And I just want to have farms. This entire upper island, I just want to have nothing but farms there. 
and this here I don't know, I want a big military base more farms here and this whole island just kind of being like a massive you know housing development that's my goal but um, as you can see I'm still working on it I'm getting my troops built up producing my gold um, as you can see right now they have an army research lab then they have a navy research lab I have this square here blank for my spy agency but I have a strong feeling that they're going to do a um, you know an air force research facility real soon they ain't released it yet but I think they're gonna build one because they already got army you know navy what's next you got your air over here you got your hangars you got your airplanes they're gonna do an air force research lab so you know that's something that they're gonna basically be working on here very soon so um, that's something I'm preparing for but you know with the layout that I've done with my city I'll tell you guys I've moved my buildings around so damn much it's ridiculous but um, I've actually found out to put like all your you know shipyards over here on this one side is the best and then you put four buildings right here and then you put eight in a group or you can do four in a group because you know that's an uneven number you know you want to do that and then you kind of want to push everything up into the corners and you really can spread it out and just kind of you can see the pattern how I got how the buildings all line up see how they line up it's kind of like goes all up through here so you want to put something on this corner here fill these in with something and then just have it nice and smooth most people that they'll, they'll space them out and I'll give you a good example I'm gonna jump over here to one of my friends pages but if you look here I'm gonna visit this guy's uh, city here this is one of my friends if you actually check his city out you can just kinda see see how he builds the walls I originally have walls all around my city but the walls are improductive the same with like a lot of this stuff see all the empty space here he's got he can have farms there mass producing stuff but you know he's got a lot of stuff spread out he's got walls they the walls serve absolutely no point I thought they help protect you they don't they're worthless so to have space in between like right here there's two spaces there's farms there's more farms right there he could put a bunch of farms there more farms here take out the walls because right there you put wall here and then you do another wall over here like this here see that each wall takes up one space put two walls wide takes up space your town square there just delete it all get rid of it you don't even need I mean I put the tarmac in my city just because the fact the tarmac looks cool so it actually looks like you have an airport you know and stuff like that but um, I'm to be honest with you right here where all my troops are I'm actually wasting space because you really only need about four of each troop and I actually got you know a bunch of bombers here I got more bombers than I need I need to try to sell some of these and I got you know extra tanks and stuff you know and stuff I got more troops than I actually need and like these soldiers here I should actually sell them but I'm gonna try to sell them to my friends if my friends won't buy them I'm gonna sell them myself you know but um you know I'm actually wasting space and stuff and that's a bad thing uh, but you wanna you know make the most of your space make sure everything is up to date make sure it's working pretty good um, I'll check out some more you know pages here and stuff check out another one of my friends show you their city but if you can see they got um their, their layouts pretty good but as you can see they put in the troops in between to protect and that's what a lot of people do is they want to protect their farms and everything like that but the one thing I realized is protecting your farms is actually it's a bad idea you know, you'd think you would want to protect your property, but the problem is you don't want to protect it because, you know, if someone will invade you, yeah, they're going to attack it, but the bottom line is whenever you recoil, you can just, like, click on it, like, attack, select, boom, you, you, you attack them, you know, and that's the bad thing. You can, you know, protecting your buildings is kind of pointless because, you know, yeah, you can repel the attack, but, you know, it's just ineffective. I mean, just it's just best just to put all your troops to the side, get the buildings as close together, maximize your production, and then try to repel the attacks that way. It works a lot more efficient, I've actually noticed. I mean, my army, if you look at my city, I got enough gold, I got a lot of resources. Most of my friends don't even, you know, have the amount of ships I do. They don't even have the level of equipment I do. You know, and they're at the same level as me, but I have all the top-notch stuff because I'm really working to get that top-notch stuff, and I have the gold production because I have so many farms to do it. So I mean, it's like I'm not getting attacked. I'm, I'm, the, you know, I'm like Superman. You know, no one's going to attack me. No one's going to risk attack me because they know if I start attacking them, they're screwed because I'm pretty high up there, and that's uh, that's one of the benefits about it. You want to be pretty top-notch and high up, but um. You know, anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this here on YouTube. I just wanting to show you guys my city here. Just uh, give me some comments. Tell me what you guys actually think. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And, uh, you know, add me on Facebook if you want. You know, add me here on Facebook. And, um, you know, go ahead and here, like I said before, add me on Facebook. And um, if you guys want something, just message me, and I'll be more than happy to put it up for sale for you in my market. Or if you want to add me and attack me, you can, because I ain't got a lot of friends. I'd love to kick somebody's ass just for fun. All right, YouTube, peace out.